Really quick tip for you here. It's about using the curve age to power another node in MASH. So as something goes further on a curve, how to make it do something. So, um, yeah, so we've got a cube here. I'm just going to create a MASH network like so. There's our cube. And then I'm going to turn the distribution down to zero. I'm going to... Um, add a curve node and then I'm going to drag this poly to curve onto the curve node here. So our objects are now on the curve. I'm just going to hit play and then they're traveling down the curve. We can spread them out a bit just like that and then on the distribute node we can have a few more like so. And what happens if we want them to start off uh, just as they are and then as they get to the end of the curve we want them to say start doing mad things. So we want maybe a bit of random position, we want a bit of random scale on them as well as they head down the curve. So something like that. So it's all a bit nuts. Let's, let's slow down the noise. It's so like that. But just so that they start off nice and narrow on the curve and then this kind of the signal node has its effect later um, as they travel down the curve. So obviously you could do this with a fall off or a map or something like that. But um, you can actually just plug straight into the curve age. So if we get the node editor up here, like so, and then we grab the mesh network and we map that, see that we've got um, the curve node here and then the signal node here, and they're connected as they should be through the output points to input points. I'm just going to get rid of the uh, time node there. Um, if I do show all attributes on the curve and show all attributes on the signal, and I type in age on the curve node, and I type in strength, on the signal node and then just uh, open the array there. Um, we can drag out age PP onto strength PP like that. And now the age of the curve affects the um, uh, the signal node as if it was a fall off kind of thing. So actually on the signal node here, if you go down to the fall off object down here, you'll see that the curve node is now a, a technically um, a fall off object. Um, so Show that again. There you go. So double click to go to the curve. Um, so yeah, there you go. And that's kind of how you do that. Uh, there isn't a great deal of control over it. It's basically the age is a number between zero and one, and then you get a strength that passes through a strength of between zero and one uh, through to the um, to the signal node. Anyway, just a little tip there for you. Um, hopefully, uh, some some good will come of it. <laughs>